Do you want to experience Android 16 on your Windows PC or laptop? In this video, I will be sharing the step-by-step -step process to install Android 16 on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 for absolutely free. So right now I'm using Windows 11, but you can do the same process on Windows 10 as well. And the very first thing you have to assure that virtualization has been enabled on your PC or your laptop. In order to check, right click on the taskbar, choose task manager, click on the performance here. Then in the CPU section, on the right hand corner, you will find the virtualization. And here on my side, you can see it's been enabled. And if it's been enabled on your end as well, if it shows you enable, then you are good to go. But in case, if it shows you disable, then you will have to enable this virtualization from the BIOS. So I have already created a video on this topic that how you have to enable the virtualization from the BIOS. Check that video, enable it and then continue with the process. Now next bring up any of your browser and type Android Studio. Then you need to click on this first website, download Android Studio and app tools. Click on it. Again, click on download Android Studio. Here scroll down to the bottom, check the terms and condition box, click download Android Studio again. And now the downloading will be started and it's around 1.4 gigabyte. So it may take some time. So you have to wait until it's all been done. All right. Once the downloading is completed, click on the downloaded file. This header wizard will be up. Click on next. Click next. If you want to change the install location, then you can do that. Click on next and then click on install. And let's wait until the installation is being completed. Now, if you get a pop up like help improve Android Studio, then either you can send the usage uh, data to them. Or if you don't want to share anything, then you can click on don't send. All right. Now you will be getting this kind of Android Studio setup wizard saying welcome. This wizard will set up your development environment for Android Studio. So click on next here. Choose the type of setup you want for Android Studio. So you want to go with the standard. So I would also recommend you to go with the standard one and click on next verify the settings so it seems to be okay i will click on next license agreement so okay i will accept it and click on next now again this will be downloading some required component for the android studio and it may take some time so you have to wait until it's all been done all right so on my end it took around 15 minutes to complete downloading these component on your end, it may take less or more time, so you will have to wait. And once you get this message all been done, then you can click on finish. And here we go. So now we have welcome to Android Studio. First, you have to click here on more actions. Choose virtual device manager. Click on it. Now, initially, it might show you the medium phone API, uh, which you can instantly use it. But I will demonstrate to you that how exactly you have to add the Android Studio and how you have to use it. So first you have to click on this plus icon on the left hand top. Click on it. Then it will give you the form factor on the left hand side. Either you want to go with the phone, tablet, desktop. So if you go with the desktop, it will give you the small desktop, medium desktop, the large desktop. Now the only problem with the desktop version as of now is Android 16 is not available with that version and only Android 14 will be available. So if you want to experience Android 16, then either you have to go with the phone or with the tablet. So as of now, I will choose tablet here. Then from the right hand side, I will choose the pixel tablet and click on next. Now here in the API, click on the drop down and choose Android 16. Then there are many more changes you can do in the additional setting. So click on additional setting. And the very first thing that I would recommend you to change the internal storage by default, it will be selected to six gigabyte. Uh, so you can take it around 25 or 30 gigabyte, depending that what are you going to install on that Android Studio below? You will be getting the CPU core and the RAM section. So depending on your physical RAM, like I have 16 gigabyte of RAM, so at least I will give a four gigabyte. But for more smoother and the best performance, at least give 8 GB of RAM. OK, so make all these changes here. Then again, you can come to the device section. Below the API in the system image, select Google Play Intel x86. Select it and then click on finish. Now in the device manager, it will display the tablet that you have configured. 
So select the Pixel tablet. Then from the right hand side, click on the play icon. And boom. So now you can see the Android 16 is loading up in the tablet that we selected. So you will be getting this kind of dashboard here. And you can see that we have the Play Store as well. And if I click on the Play Store icon. So first you need to sign in. So let me quickly sign in with my Gmail ID. And bingo. So we are good to go to enjoy the Android application and game here. So very similar like your tablet, your Android phone, you can see all the categories like game, application, search, books and kids. So whichever application you want to enjoy, whichever game you want to enjoy, you can give a try here, install them and enjoy them. I've already checked many applications before by downloading from this Android 16 and all the applications were working perfectly. I'm not sure about the bigger game like the PUBG or the Free Fire or any other relevant game because many people reported uh, this kind of game were working for them and many reported that these bigger games were not working on the Android Studio. If this is the scenario, probably the device configuration might matter. So you can also give a try on your end and let me know in the comment section that uh, whether you had any problem while downloading and playing the game like PUBG or any other. So for testing, I downloaded two games over here, the Battleground Mobile and the second one was a smaller game like the Candy Crush just to make a test that whether it worked and right application and game well or not. So no problem with the Candy Crush. Everything was working very smoother, very perfectly. I did not found any lag or any kind of problem while playing this kind of a small game on Android Studio installed on my Windows 11. But yes, I had problem with the PUBG, which I already downloaded and it was successfully downloaded and installed on this Android 16. But while opening up, it was coming up but it's stuck on some kind of a screen and it disappeared. Probably seems to be crashing or maybe it need more additional settings. I'm not sure about it. I have to work on it. But if you have any idea about it, let me know in the comment section. Now next, if you talk about this Android 16 on the tablet, everything seems to be flawlessly. Like a part of the Play Store, you can enjoy the Chrome browser or Google Photos. And you can see that it's working very smoother. I am not having any kind of lag here. And if I bring up the settings, so you'll find almost all the settings like network and internet, uh, connected devices, apps, notification, display and touch. So it seems good. And then on the right side of the tablet, you will find more settings. And if you click on the three dot, it gives you many options like extended control, where you can manage the camera, location, phone, display. Then you get the rotate option as well. And if you rotate to the right, you can enjoy the Android 16 with this tablet look and so on. You get many other options on the right hand side that you can manage. Now, in case if you have any kind of lag or any kind of problem while running this Android 16, then you can even make some changes with the configuration that you have given to this Android 16. For that, you can power off this tablet. And in the device manager screen where you see the pixel tablet or your device on the right side, click on the three dot and click on edit. Then you can come to the additional settings. And if you have any lag, as I said, uh, you can try increasing the RAM here, try increasing the CPU core and make other changes so that you can get the better performance. So that's all guys for today. And hopefully you will find this information, the video useful. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.